Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to stage artist and futurist, Zenka. Hey everybody, welcome. So, fasten your seatbelts, here we go. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about the four-dimensional map, right? This time-space map, it's the library or the search engine or the index. From its creation around the year 2018, all the way up until today, the year 2028. So you can think of it, right, as taking all of the things, right, the movies, the books, all these buildings that we preserved and the objects, and putting it onto the earth, right? And then adding a layer, a dimension of time, right? So you can go down on the map and go back in time and up and go forward in time, right? You can see what was happening around you, what books and movies and things were published at that time. You can curve around the earth and see what was happening in Russia at the same time. And of course, it allowed us to see things from a 360 degree view, right? So how did we see the Vietnam War from every single country on the, on the earth? Right? How do we see it 10 years before it happened, 10 years after it happened, 20 years after it happened? And this tool also allowed us to shop for knowledge, right? We were able to look at all the movies, all the sounds, all the fashion that were created at that time and save them for later. If, if the beginning of jazz interest, interests us, we could put those things in our, in our movie quay to watch later. The thing that I most loved about the 4D map was this ability to have a personal notebook. We realized we were living in an age where things were changing so much that we needed to become lifelong learners, right? We couldn't stop learning after high school or college, but we needed a digital notebook to, to keep, keep notes on, on the theories we were working with and the questions and where we'd been in history. And we also needed a collaborative platform, right? We wanted to be able to collaborate all these questions that we had. And of course, the most popular thing that we did on this 4D map and that we do today is when the haptic suits and virtual reality really came into being, right? And we would create these fears, right, where we would go into a simulation. And as you guys know, this was the first time we were able to create actual memories of history that we never even lived for, through. Right? Because as you know, in virtual reality, your brain processes information as if it's coming through your eyes. You're having a physical memory of doing something, and your brain is recording memories deeply because you're in an, a special place, right? So we are, for the first time, able to feel history, not just read about it. 